Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Mushok Tensei episode number 11. Alright, so in the previous episode we met uh, some new characters which uh, most of them are pretty nasty. So for the first one is that horse and like there were a few other adventurers as well who were kind of, you know, mocking, uh, uh, you know, Rudy's team and all. And another major thing, hap major thing happened is that, uh, like, Rudy, like we saw, like we already knew one thing that Rudy is not comfortable with uh, killings. You know, obviously because he is from our world. So it turns out that uh, Rujit like killed someone, and obviously he got freaked out as he did before. Uh, like the uh, thing that happened with Ghislaine at that time as well. So and he like reprimanded uh, Rigid and said that you should not kill and stuff like that. But like I thought about one thing, you know, like uh, I think obviously like uh, it's not his fault. Like he himself was bullied and like he is from our world and like the morals and everything that we are like taught from our childhood that kind of contradicts with everything in this new world. So obviously like for that I cannot blame him but I think he should probably try to get used to this you know like killing people because uh, like obviously like I'm not trying like telling him to turn into a monster and like start killing people left and right no not, not that but like you know like get ready to get your hands dirty because if by some like you know some means uh, somehow, uh, like his loved one of his loved ones are at prob like at, at danger, and there is like a choice that yeah you have to kill someone if you want your loved one to be fine. So like he has to kill at that moment, and like this world is kind of unforgiving in that way, like it's kill or be killed. So for that moment, I think he should probably like get ready, you know. Otherwise, like he might lose. Some of his loved ones if he is unable to like you know uh, like get the conviction of getting his own hand dirty so yeah that's just something that i thought which i'm sure someday he will like face this problem uh, i'm not sure when it will happen but i'm sure like it will happen someday so for that day like you know so yeah anyways uh, let's get started with this episode this is episode 11 and i forgot how many episodes this anime like this season has it's either 11 or 12 i'm not sure if like it has 11 episodes then this is probably the last episode i'll have to check after this you know like uh, video ends like if we have 12 episodes or not if there are 12 episodes then we'll have one other week left so anyways uh, without further ado let's get started with uh, mushoku tensei episode number 11 so, all right, I'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here, sync it to whichever is your preference, and let's get started. So, here's the countdown. Three, two, one, go. Okay. What is this place? Oh, this is uh the where where that happened that mana discharge or whatever. Oh, people died as well. Damn. Wait, wait a minute. Like, so, so the explosion was huge. I thought it was only concentrated at that place. What? Who is this? Paul. Oh, who are these two? Oh, a dwarf and an elf? Wow, this is like goblins there. Zenith, Lillian, Aisha. Oh. Oh, so it was. A huge explosion. I'm putting, okay, yeah, fine. Yeah. Then it's homeland. Okay. Yeah. 
Damn. Remember the fangs of the black. Oh. Oh, so he Oh my god, I was not... Okay, so the explosion was huge. Hmm. Petrified forest? What is... Huh. Hmm. Um, Rejet is not pleased. Oh well. Oh, what the? Yeah, it's like, oh my god. <laughs> what a place. Oh, is, is that those? Oh, he's. <laughs> what Sarah's doing? Triple booking, damn. Oh, so all of them are here. At the, oh my god. Oh boy. Hmm. Well, yeah, like triple booking, as they said. Oh, nope. Yes. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, oh boy, Luigi is, you know, like, too, you know, soft on children, like, that's why. Oh, okay. Yeah, they're like just like, you know, like strolling around. Like a walk in the park. God damn. Oh my god. Wow, a snake and a spider. Oh, great. No, Rudy, you are, yeah. I was thinking, like, he is going too much into the wrong side. Like, like he is only thinking from the perspective of their game. Like, in the previous episode, I also kind of saw this a little bit, but 
I thought it was nothing, like, but it seems as if. And he also underestimated the enemies as well. You know, like both of them. Yeah, it's your miss, Rudy. Like, this is the first mistake. Yeah. Come on, like, don't make this mistake again. Like, that's all. Yeah, he's pretty, you know. Yeah, that was the thing, you know. <sighs> that as well like both of them are kind of like going into the extreme Rijit and Rudy as well like I can understand what Rijit is thinking, but still. Yeah, like that's what adventurers are. Like they know what they're getting into. But there won't be, you know. Like Rujit won't be able to stay beside them forever. They have to fend for themselves. Like Rujit is the thing that she's doing is like, you know. Like protecting them, but that won't do like they have to fend for themselves he's protecting them today what about tomorrow the next day but still like it's a good thing you know he yeah like, he is sympathetic to us children that's a good quality I think this was kind of uh, on Rudy, you know, like he, okay, I'm going to like discuss about this later on. Wait, uh, the teammate is dead, isn't he? Or yeah, I think so. Like, I think they collected the body to like, bury it or something. And also another thing, like Rudy is getting relied upon too much. Like that's also a problem. Like everything is on him. Let's see. Oh boy. Oh, okay. Damn. Red Hood Cobra. Oh, okay. Oh my god, wow. Oh, wow, that's quite... Damn. Yeah. Okay, let's see. Oh. Damn, smooth. Okay. Oh, boy. Oh, no. Damn. Oh. Oh god. Who? Wow, Ruji is something. And Eris as well. Wow. Uh 
Ah, okay. Well, I hope that it's dead. Yeah, it's dead, I think. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, <laughs> she's knocking on. <laughs> What? Oh, he's dead? Oh no. Yeah. Mm. Damn. Oh my god. Is this? Yeah, it's the horse again. God. Ah, damn this thing. Oh my god. Oh great. <laughs> this horse. Come come on, please, please smack this guy. Some someone, not a guy, but horse. Ooh, whatever. Ugh. Yeah, like everything's Or you can just smack him in across the head, you know. Oh yeah, that's right true. Okay, okay. Oh my god. Yeah, too many things like you know like a lot of things are on his shoulders like that is one thing. Um Rudy? Um, is that the best solution? Oh, what? Oh! Yeesh. Oh my god, okay. Yeah, run. Run. Run like a horse. <laughs> That's what you can do. This horse was too cocky for his own good. Like teach him a lesson, like break his arm or something. Yeah, just break his arm or something. Oh, you've got kids. And that's how you, you know, like behave outside. Damn. Okay. Oh boy. Yeah. Uh, now what? Oh. Huh? 
Oh, that's not how it works, I think. Yeah. Like, you know, the fear is something else. Oh, God. Oh, he's there? Okay. No, actually, like, a lot of things were on your shoulders. Like, it's difficult for one person to do everything, you know? Yeah, that, that was the thing, like, you know, everything was on him. Hmm. <laughs> Where is my pride? <laughs> okay. <laughs> and Eris will be fuming now. He'll be like, what are you guys only having fun for? Let me in. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> As I said, like, you know, Eris. <laughs> Okay, that was. And now what? Oh! <laughs> he looks weird, I don't know. At least, you know, wear a wig or something? <laughs> oh my god. It will take a little bit of time to get used to this appearance. Okay, this looks better, you know? Yeah, this looks a lot better. Like, you know, like... Like... <laughs> like his head was looking too naked, you know? Like, you know what, I was, what I'm trying to say? So the band kind of, like, balances it. Yeah. Like you should, like, you know, rely on everyone. Three of them. Three wolves. Okay.
All right. Yeah, like everything was on him, and like he was not discussing everything. Okay, everything, all the stress and all the responsibility was on him. But now they are like talking with each other and like discussing. This is better, you know? Like this is what they should have done from the beginning. Like, you know, even like leaders have, like captains have vice captains who they rely on or like other members. <laughs> oh my god, Rude is going to, I know what Rude is going to do. There you go. <laughs> he never learns. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Are they going to time skip? Like, you know, like in the next episode, we're going to see there in the. Oh, is this the end? Wait a minute. Like, I said, like, I was. I did not know like if this has 11 or 12 episodes. It feels like it's the end, like at least of this season. Oh, they're here. Yep, they're in the Asura Kingdom. Children and warriors. Okay, so they're going to take a ship now. Oh no, this is... Okay, so they kind of teamed up and they're going to look for Yeah, yeah, this is the end. This is the 11th. So this ep oh, this is the finale season finale. Okay, I like I did not um, You know check before starting this episode that how many episodes this uh, season had so uh, just a sec Let me just like double check, you know uh, If like this is the ending episode of this season just a sec guys um yeah 11 episodes so oh my god this is the end so uh, i'm gonna miss this show you know from the next week i loved it so much so uh the second uh, season or like yeah this is it's called the second season the second season will start from july um so yeah like a three months break that means like you know like the other slot of anime will end and then the next slot comes in and um yeah so it will be like this is the winter anime that's ongoing after this will be the just a sec uh let me go to the uh no okay yeah like this is the winter anime that's ongoing then spring summer so in summer 2021 uh animal uh, like list isn't it just a sec uh hmm no wait it's starting from wait a minute it's not listed here what the hell I i'm looking at my anime list so uh anyways like uh, i kind of saw like okay so uh june uh no july it's going to start from the next you know like the next one like after the like the season after this like the uh, three month cool after it ends it will start again so obviously i'm going to continue it uh, i love this show and this is something that's quite unique and i really enjoyed myself like <clears throat> like reacting to it so yeah i'm definitely going to continue this and uh yeah like it was uh, such a like you know enjoyable and like such a new type of an experience uh like obviously we are accustomed to isekais which are you know like a person gets transported and uh, he finds some like you know hidden power within him he starts to like gain more power gain more allies and he has a main goal of defeating someone or something and that's how it goes that's like an isekai and like we see new powers new allies new like the uh, main character getting like overpowered more and more and more you know like he like the main um uh, like focus is on the main character in every like almost all of the isekais that i've like seen but like the special thing about mushoku tensei and the reason why i really liked it is because like uh there's like a few reasons number one is rudy it does not feel Rudy is the like you know like like not all attention or is given on Rudy, like 
as i said like isekais have the main characters are like the pampered you know <laughs> like pampered main characters like each and every like superpowers goes to the main character like most of the focus goes on to the main character they're extremely pampered like in most of the isekai i'm not saying that all isekais in most of the isekais so <laughs> like it's all about the main character how he like accomplishes new things how he does stuff how he like gains new allies stuff like that but mushoku tensei is not that it is like rudy is just a character within it obviously he's the main character but like not all attention is given to him like just look at the first thing that happened like it like when we began this show it seemed as if rudy is too op you know like he going he's going to like cast new spells and like like do a lot of things without like any kind of incantations he's too strong stuff like that but now like at the end of this season we can see that no rudy is just a little bit special that's just it like he is not like has like some op powers it's nothing he just has a little bit of advantage you can call it as like a little bit of a talent he has like an extra talent that he got because he is like a is guy protagonist <laughs> so man like there are a lot of people who are like even like extremely stronger like i can even say that eris is a lot stronger than rudy in certain aspects you know like uh like the swordsmanship obviously and a lot of other things so it's not like rudy 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 it's like they're like everyone is given the same amount of attention and i like that like that's one thing another thing that mushoku tensei did correct is like you know um the characters oh i already like said this before like every characters are given equal importance and i like that i really like that the animations are amazing and it's not that each and every uh, like you know episode has like some action parts and like like fighting bam boom no nothing like that like there are slice of life bits and it is mainly like slice of lifey but there are also like uh, you know actiony parts and stuff like that so that's also something that is quite unique in an isekai you know like slice of life isekai um i don't think i've seen any uh, i think there are a few like i i've read a few mangas about like slice of life isekais for example um i think there is this one like isekai about cooking or something like uh, cooking in a different world like that's like slice of life uh i think it had an anime as well did it i cannot remember yeah i think it had an anime as well so like there are like slice of life isekais but it's quite rare so i really enjoyed the slice of life aspect of this show as well and the characters are good and one thing i think a lot of people were kind of quite annoyed like i you know i usually like see uh, like the comment sections and everything of like the episodes um is like rudy's uh, extensive what can i say like perviness so i think a lot of people were kind of annoyed at that and i really do not you know like a few times were a little bit too much like he was a little too <laughs> like excited about a few things but like that's nothing like no problem for me like i can handle that like that's not much of a big deal but like yeah like a little like a few things were a little like you know like they did a little bit too much which i also kind of found myself becoming uncomfortable with the situation but all right like that's nothing too much like too major and yeah and there are like a lot of new characters like we kind of saw a lot of characters as well like i think there's this like little demon and there's this like a person with like dragon scales and big dragon so i'm sure we'll meet new more new characters in like the next season as well and there were two more new characters that were introduced in this episode that was that elf lady and that i think that's a dwarf i'm guessing uh, that dwarf guy and those two new paul that means i'm guessing like they were in his party and like roxy met up with them and they are like going to uh, like try searching for uh, like you know roxy's uh, uh, rudy's uh, rudy and like his family yeah and um yeah like i enjoyed it and okay so first let me talk about this episode this episode was um what can i say like in the beginning there was this like whole awkwardness going on between rudy and rujet obviously from the previous episode uh and one thing i have to say is like uh like as i said like rudy made a mistake in this episode like he was thinking you know like as rujet said in the end like you were only thinking about eris how to protect her how to like you know take her safely to uh, her home so 
like because of that he was thinking like how is it going to help us for you know uh, for us to go back to our place uh, what's the best way and that's why he was doing these kind of you know like tricks and like time trying to uh, make situations uh, you know convenient for them like you know when he was like saying like just wait for a little bit and let them get into more trouble so that we can come in the last moment save them and they'll be in our debt he was like thinking like that because he wanted you know to like gain something from that and like he thought maybe he could like gain some fra favor from them if they like helped them in a extremely crucial moment they would be more indebted to them but turns out like not everything happens according to you know like uh things that you think in your mind like the reality is pretty uh you know brutal so yeah that's what happened and like he was only thinking like that so obviously he, rudy is not someone who wants uh, to exploit people for the, his own good but he was only like you know uh, like focused on eris and eris's safety so that kind of made him like that and he understood that in the end that he was kind of you know like doing this a little bit too much he was like looking into uh, trying to like he himself was also trying to exploit them in a way uh, the others so he understood his mistake and Rigid and also Rigid is also kind of it has a little bit more fault uh, not more sorry a little less but still he has another big problem that is as he said that he is a little bit uh, like soft on children that's why like as uh, the like I'm not saying that's wrong like that's definitely not not wrong that's something uh, like he's kind in a way but uh, at the same time, like, as I said before, like, uh, the adventurers, those three kids, they were here for themselves. They had, they have to fend for themselves. So Ruijek saved them today. And like, those adventurers got like, you know, angry and said that like, like, you know, like, don't treat us like kids, which is something that Ruijek was doing. But like, in a peaceful world, that could have been okay. But this is like, a, you know, like, kill or be killed type of a world. So Ryujit obviously cannot stay beside them forever and protect them like each and every day like he cannot do that like he has his own thing to do so like you know so that's why like like he also has to understand that in this world like it is like uh, kill or be killed so obviously like you should definitely protect someone if you have the chance to protect them but you should not like you know like as he like reacted to the children that yeah you guys are like little children like you shouldn't have faced uh, like uh, like a dangerous situation like that like no you should not do that because as they said that they themselves have their own pride they themselves are adventurers and obviously like Rujit cannot stay with them forever and protect them like that's one thing that he cannot do so at least like you know like protect people and at the same time give them the respect that they you know, like you know like they have and they deserve so like that's also kind of a little fault that Rijet had which I'm sure like in this episode after seeing this all of the things that were happening it also got cleared up in a way like uh, obviously you should definitely save not only children save anyone if you have the chance to but like the thing that he did after that was not correct in a way like you know like he was kind of trying to pamper them like no like this in this world that's not how it goes you're also kind of you know insulting the other party in a way by that so yeah and uh and then like, uh, like obviously like uh, we see that like that horse comes in and he starts yapping about again uh and now one thing that happened here is like uh rudy like a lot of pro like each and everything was on rudy and in a way like in this world at least he's a child and uh, obviously even if he is not a child if you know like some like everyone starts relying on you there will be a lot of pressure like everything will go on you like everything everyone will look at you and wait for your orders so that was the thing that he kind of like which like you know they should have like realized before unfortunately they did not and like in this episode they realized it in the end excuse me and yeah the horse was yapping about and he got what de what he deserves like uh you should definitely like he he was too cocky he was like trying to exploit people trying to mess with people that's definitely not correct obviously he does not uh like that does not deserve death so like you know like we just kind of roughed him up and said that if you like try to mess around again like yeah you see the consequences yeah that was enough and we just like bailed out of that situation 
and yeah like and <clears throat> then like uh, they like come to uh, you know a mutual understanding like Rujit also understands like what Rudy was trying to do he was trying to protect Eris and hope for the best and like trying to do everything so that they can go home uh, like you know quickly and safely so that was like the main thing that was in Rudy, Rudy's mind so he like respected that he said that yeah you're trying to protect someone like you're a warrior in my eyes and he acknowledged him which is something that Rudy never got in his previous world so yeah that's like a good thing you know and then like they came to a mutual conclusion that yeah like obviously we should not put everything on Rudy's uh, like shoulders so we would like if any problem arises we would have a discussion we will discuss together and make a take a decision together I, like you know like uh, kind of like a majority system I'm guessing so yeah and <coughs> yeah that's that's better you know like as i said uh while reacting like even captains have vice captains and people they rely on so definitely like pinning like you know like putting everything on rudy's shoulders is something that like you should definitely not do it will like stress him up out and like he'll start making mistakes like and not only he like anyone just anyone like if you pile everything on their shoulders it will kind of stress him or her out too much and they might make mistakes uh, because of that so yeah that's like a good thing that happened out of this episode and they started like you know like uh, going to the like uh, you know like traveling and uh, to the Ashura kingdom and in the end we see like Roxy and uh, the new uh, members those the dwarf and the elf they like uh, moving out uh, of that place and like sailing in the ocean I'm sure like they are trying to find uh, Rudy and like the other family members of Paul so yeah and uh, yeah that was it and one thing I really did not expect was like the uh, like the explosion or whatever that happened that mana explosion I thought it was only for that place like you know I thought only uh, Rudy, uh, Eris and uh, Ghislaine got uh, into that mess and all of the other things will be okay but turns out that explosion was quite huge that means like even Paul's place which was quite a, you know distance from uh, Edis's place that place also got uh, like affected by it so damn that was like a huge explosion that mean I was not expecting that at all so like a lot of the, the other characters got like teleported like Rudy and they're somewhere here and there so I'm so it means that uh, Eris's family are also like teleported somewhere. Damn, like oh my god! And I think uh, I think Norn is uh, like they said like Norn is with um, Paul, and Aisha and Zenith and Lilia are not like they got teleported. I think yeah, I think that's what they said. So yeah, that was this episode. So yeah, as I was saying, like uh, Mushu Tensei is an extremely unique uh, show, and I really enjoyed it so much. It's uh, like you know a breath of fresh air from all of the other isekais, like all of the copy paste isekais, and uh, like yeah, I quite enjoy it, and it is definitely something which I like. I'm looking forward to in the for the next season, and I'll definitely react to it. So like <laughs> you know, like be sure to. Uh, tune in when that happens as well so yeah and yeah I'm gonna miss this show this is something uh, like I don't know like this show has an uh, unexplainable charm uh, yeah unexplainable charm I really cannot explain but I really love this setting I think the, the main thing that really like make makes me uh, fascinated for this show is the you know the setting the world like the way like you know uh the different type of places we are seeing the demon continent and everything the, the whole guild system as well and then like uh, like in a like in a party doing like adventure stuff and that is one thing that i really appreciate in this show and i hope that it discontinues you know uh it's like an like an adventure so which is quite rare in a lot of isekais you know like uh yeah like this whole like adventure 
prospect kind of gets lost in a lot of other isekais like it's just like uh, the main character killing people like you know killing uh, you know monsters and stuff and it goes on and on and they're like problems they're like new problems and they like face that problem like it's it's just like that like most of the isekais but like it this like show really gives uh, you know importance to the uh, what can i say like to the places to the different places that they're like you know going and everything it's like you're playing a video game that's basically it like you really like uh, like fall in love with the uh, places in this show as well which is quite like nice and quite rare as well so yeah and all the characters are also like extremely you know like lovable and uh, yeah like it's a really good show and i i can I, I like i can understand now like why a lot of people like said that this is like the i think the father of isekai or something like that and like the lot of like uh like this was like one of the first isekais or something they said so like with a setting like this so i can understand like you know like why this like why this kind of got that reputation and like it's like it's good it's really good and i'm really like you know glad that i decided to react to this uh, show this season so yeah guys uh, thank you guys for watching and this was mushoku tensei episode number 11 and this was the final episodes of uh, episode of this season so yeah guys if you guys enjoyed my reaction press the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed consider doing so because that helps me a lot and comment down below anything you want to say or anything you want to share about this episode about or about the whole uh, anime in general your impressions on it and yeah so i'll be i cannot say this i'll be back with a new episode because it's the end i'll definitely be back with this show when the second season starts so if you guys are interested be sure to you know tune in at that time as well I'll be definitely be doing uh, the second season of this uh, show when it starts. So yeah, guys, thank you guys for watching again, and I'll see you guys in the next video. So I'll like obviously like uh, the slot will this slot will open and like this uh, today's like uh, uh, what can I say? Yeah, slot. So I'll like replace it with some other new shows which I'm going to think about, which I'm what what I'm going to do. I'll make a separate video on it and because like obviously all the animes are going to are like ending all the animes like uh, the winter animes so i'm going to make a separate video where i'm going to probably like tell like say uh, what new animes i'll start and like you know what the next that is um, like the next core of animes i'll like react to so, yeah i'll make a video on it later on so yeah guys thank you guys for watching so i'll, I'll see you guys in the next video so until then goodbye and have a nice day